There it is. Just uh, installed the first lithium battery. I'm actually putting two batteries in here and just wired in the first one to check out the system to make sure everything is wired up properly and uh, all is working well. So there's the plus and negative bus bars at the back. There's the uh, fuse that uh, connects the plus bus bar to the inverter charger. It's a 300 amp fuse and then the cable runs up towards the front where the inverter charger is. Then I have a on off switch that will shut the power from the battery going to the positive bus bar and mounted up here underneath are two circuit breakers 100 amp each and each circuit breaker is feeding a DC power box and I got one power box on the right side of the van and one power DC power box on the left side of the van so therefore I have two circuit breakers wire size all the wires that are connecting the battery to the plus and negative bus bar are two aught cables the cable running up to the DC bus bar is a four gauge cable and the cable that connects the 300 amp fuse to the inverter charger is a 4 aught cable. At the inverter end I have an on off switch that I can disconnect the inverter from the DC power. So this device will take the DC power from the battery and output 110 volts to my 110 volt circuit and will also take AC voltage comes in from the line we call it the line connection or plug once the van is plugged into AC power then this inverter charger becomes a charger if the batteries need to be charged up so the 12 volt DC enters the inverter and then comes out as 110 volt AC and that power is ran up here to a AC breaker box. I have two 15 amp circuits that exit the uh, box and power the plugs that are mounted in the side of the van. So one circuit is powering the plugs on the right side of the van and the other circuit is going to power plugs on the left side of the van that I have not installed yet. You can see the uh, battery shunt, the blue device that's in the back. It's a Victron smart battery shunt and it connects between the negative of the battery into the shunt. So there are all the loads that come out of the battery go through the shunt. It's a smart shunt. It communicates by Bluetooth to your iPad and you can keep an eye on your consumption through uh, your iPad. It does historical it does historical logging and you can read the trends. So right now the battery's at 13.23 volts. I'm currently drawing 1.38 amps, 18 watts, and I'm consuming 0.8 amp hours. And at that rate, my 100 amp battery will last two days and 13 hours before it drains down to 20%. And the battery is currently 99% charged. It's pretty neat.